hour and a hour and 15 minute drive in a bus probably for them today so welcome to the finley lady trojans rams come in at one and oh after that thrilling late inning 3-1 victory over bowling green on tuesday evening skyly zolman went the distance striking out 15 allowed just one run while logan mcquillan broke a 1-1 tie with a two rbi single in the bottom of the sixth inning Welcome to the Science Excavating pregame show. First pitch is set for 5.30. Find the Science Excavating pregame show is the sponsor for the 2023 Tenor Rams Life Spring Sports Season. Science Excavating offers a variety of excavating and trucking services. Science Excavating can assist with your general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to ditch cleaning to site prep, Science Excavating is here to assist. Signs Excavating Team is committed to doing the job right, on schedule, and on budget. Based in rural defiance, Signs Excavating serves all of Northwest Ohio, providing reliable and affordable excavating services for your home, business, or industrial property. Full offering of excavating and trucking services include stone hauling, trenching, demolition, and land clearing, and drainage work is available. For all your excavating needs, get a hold of Josh, 419-769-2290. For your trucking needs, you can call Brad, 419-481-3738. Visit them on Facebook or go to signsexcavating.com. What a ride the 2022 season was for the Tenora Leader Rams softball team and first-year coach, Tony Fairchild. Rams captured the 2022 GMC title, advanced all the way to the Sweet 16 of the OHSAA playoffs. Rams were eliminated by Cardington Lincoln Pirates in the Elida Regional Semifinals. Postseason awards for the 2022 Rams were plenty. Player of the Year and Crescent of the Crescent News went to Rams pitcher Skyly Zolman. While the Coach of the Year went to Coach Fairchild. Zolman was also the GMC Player of the Year, while the Rams lone senior Quinn Horn, she garnered first team all GMC recognition. Devonna Holmes was voted second team all GMC, while Logan McQuillan, she was named an honorable mention selection. To cap the 2022 season, the Lady Rams finished at 19 and four. They were seven and zero as they captured that GMC title. Tenor graduated just one senior. That was Quinn Horn, whose leadership will be missed to start this 2023 campaign. Quinn hit 453, hit six homers, and she drove in 23 runs last year. Rams finished with a team average of 355 and a team ERA of 3.11 in 2022. Looking ahead to this 2023 version of the Lady Rams, it's normal field experience at most positions. They do have a lot of returning starters. However, the very experienced Rams will be without one major weapon here in 2023. That's Nevada Holmes. She will miss her senior season due to a knee injury sustained during the offseason. Holmes batted 468. She had eight homers and she knocked in 31 runs last year for the Lady Rams. Thor brings back a roster of five seniors, Anna Frazier, Paige Carpenter, Logan McQuillan, Devonna Holmes, and Marin Pittman. Also at the core is junior pitching sensation Skyly Zolman. She'll be on the mound. Zolman hurled 125 innings, struck out 226, walked 69, had an ERA of 2.40 at the plate. Skyly hit 304, eight homers, 22 RBIs for the Lady Rams last season. Leadoff hitter Anna Frazier is returning after batting 475 with 26 steals. As we saw in game one, Anna had four steals already. Slick fielding second baseman Logan McQuillan, she at 406 last season. Shortstop Tegan Norton batted 386 last year with 19 RBIs. Paige Carpenter returns at first. Paige hit 324, two home runs, and 19 RBI last season. Highs for the Rams last year had 23 runs and a 23-3 win over Allen East. They're low. It was a regular season loss to Hot Siegel here at Tenor about a year ago to the day, actually. It was a 10-0 loss to Hot Siegel, and obviously they got the revenge on the Knights when it counted. Rams averaged seven runs a contest last year at the plate. Gave up three on the mound. Lady Trojans last season from Finley finished at 5-15. and 15. They were 3-11 in the track conference play. Head coach for Finley is Brian Steffes, assisted by Chad Phillips. 
Emily Kerfus and Mackenzie Scott. Yes, that's the Chad Phillips from Tenora High School from, good Lord, when Chad graduated probably with Tony back in the day, I would guess. Superintendent at Finley is Krista Miller. She's the interim superintendent. Principal is Mike Emke. Athletic director is Nate Myrak. They are Division I. Colors are yellow, blue. Their mascot is Tommy the Trojan. And they are from the track, the Three Rivers Athletic Conference. Rams are coached by second-year coach Tony Fairchild. Coach Fairchild is 20-4, and four, assisted by Brian Schaffner, Brooklyn Barchwitz, and Vince Salinas. Those are the, uh, Brian and, and Vince are the JV level. Superintendent at Northeastern Local Schools is Nicole Wells. Principal is Alex Nafziger. Athletic director is Mr. Craig Rudder. Trainer, Emily Volmar. Nickname is the Lady Rams. Colors are green and white. They are from the GMC, the Green Medals Conference, and the Lady Rams at Tenor are Division Three. So wherever you are and however you may be listening or watching, thanks for tuning in to tonight's game coming up live from Tenor High School. See Tenor Rams taking on the Finley Trojans. Broadcast studio tonight is brought to you by Cut and Polished Hair and Nail Salon, located at 413 Hopkins Street in Defiance. In-game scoreboard brought to you by the Drop Zone Pizzeria in Stryker and Ayersville. Pre-game is brought to you by Signs Excavating. Video sponsor, as always, Batten Stevens. Body Shop in Jewel High, all your stats. Brought to you by BSN Sports. Post-game brought to you by Bidlack Insurance and Investments. Your player of the game in a Rams win is Higby Embroidery. Rams tonight in the home whites with the green numbers and black trim, black pants, Finley uniforms in the royal blue with black uniform tops, blue numbers and lettering with white trim for Finley. Looking at the lineups for the visiting Finley Trojans, coached by Brian Steffes. Lost my tab. Gotta make sure I got everything working here. Sometimes the gremlins creep up and stuff doesn't want to work, so we don't want that to happen tonight. Using my phone Wi Fi instead of my hotspot Wi Fi and see if we can't keep the connection tonight. So hopefully that does happen. Oh, uh, which would be fantastic for everybody. And for some reason I can't get the radio app to connect tonight, so <laughs> there only has to be one thing that seems to always go wrong. Leading off and playing in center field for Finley tonight will be Riley Indicott. Batting second, Lola Spiels. She will be in right field. Batting third, behind the plate, Eliana Steffes. Batting fourth in left field is Adeline Sprang. Batting fifth at second base is Regan Bruce Cotter. Batting sixth at the hot corner at third is Bailey Ashcraft. Batting seventh at first base is Abigail Langstaff. Designated position is Laney Oliver. Should be playing shortstop, batting eighth. And on the mound, batting ninth is Natalie Steffes. For the Lady Rams, leading off and playing in center field is Anna Frazier. And a four for four with four steals Monday in that 3-1 win. Batting second at shortstop for Tenora will be Tegan Norton. Batting third at second base is Logan McQuillan. Batting cleanup on the mound, Skyly Zolman. Skyly one for two with an RBI in the win over the Lady Bobcats. Batting fifth at third base, Paige Gabby. Batting sixth at first base is Paige Carpenter. Batting seventh in Left field is Zoe Rostai. Batting eighth behind the plate, Tanae Smith and Benny Knight. And right field is Marin Pittman. Set on the mound, be Skyly Zolman. Skyly with that seven innings. Great performance. She was the Higby Embroider player of the game on Tuesday. Seven innings pitched, one hit. One run that was earned. She walked two, struck out 15 in the Rams' 3-1 win. Rams with two runs in the sixth inning for a season opening 3-1-1. Stay tuned. We're going to have playing of our national anthem coming up any second. And we will be back right after this brief timeout from 
our video sponsor, Batten Stevens. High standards, hard work, sincerity. For the past 37 years, those have been the day-to-day ideals behind Batten Stevens, regarded as one of the finest auto body repair shops in the Six County area. Our technicians understand how you feel about your vehicle, so they're trained to know your automobile inside and out. Batten Stevens will provide you with fine workmanship at a fair price. We will work closely with you to ensure your complete satisfaction. We believe full service is one of the keys to complete collision repair. Once your vehicle enters our shop, you can be sure it is handled with the utmost attention to detail at every phase of the repair process. Our skilled professionals are committed to this high standard of quality on every job, from small dings to major collision damage. Whether it is just fitting decorative trim pieces or restoring your vehicle's entire structure, we work on all makes and models, foreign and domestic, including recreational vehicles. Our state-of-the-art equipment helps us perform every kind of job with a lifetime guarantee. Free estimates can be obtained anytime and loaner cars are available by appointment. Patton Stevens Body Shop has also been selected as the 2020 Crescent News Reader's Choice Awards Favorite Body Shop in the Six County Area. Patton Stevens Body Shop, located in downtown Jewel, Ohio. 419-497-3111. That's 419-497-3111. Back here at Turner High School, getting ready. Umpires having their pregame meeting. But the Rams come in at 1-0. and Should be Finley's first game of the season tonight. Rams coming off a 19-4 and season. 7-0 in the GMC, 2022 GMC champs, where the Finley Trojans were 5-15 and last season. They were 3-11 in the Three Rivers Athletic Conference. Coach Fairchild and Coach Steffes meeting at the plate. And we'll be back after another brief timeout and should be ready for the national anthem. Are you tired of losing money on your 401k or other retirement accounts? Well, you're not alone. Do what many area residents have done and call Postoma Insurance and Investments. With safe money strategies offered to you by PI&I, you can still have the benefits of market earnings without the risk of taking market loss. Sound too good to be true? Give us a call, and with experienced agents at PI&I will work with you to understand how you can do just that. If you're more interested in the CD-style accounts but are fed up with low CD rates, PI&I agents can set you up with an account with rates currently as high as 5.5% fixed, with certain restrictions apply. Call us today at 419-782-2500 to help you set up a plan that meets your investment goals. That's 782-2500, Postuma Insurance and Investments, protecting everything you've worked for. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. Rather than going to the gym merely to work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and so to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. Getting better together is our goal for you and your family at Fairchild Family Chiropractic. Here, we are focused on getting our patients to achieve long-term wellness just beyond short-term symptom relief. At Fairchild Family Chiropractic, we do this by working closely with you and personalizing each treatment plan. Now open and accepting new patients. Come see Dr. A.J. Fairchild at 100 Stadium Drive. Call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at fairchildfamilychiro.com. Dr. Fairchild, a proud Tenora alum says go Rams. Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. BSN Sports, the recognized leader in team athletic gear. BSN forms partnerships with educators, coaches, and students to build school pride, student engagement, and community spirit. Our partnerships give you access to the most brand names in the industry with all of the hottest products at the best prices. From Nike to Wilson to Under Armour, we can customize any team needs. Since 1972, BSN Sports has brought you the brands that make you untouchable on the field, the court, or anywhere else you play your sport. Contact BSN local sports rep Jim Gares for any of your sports needs at 419 
Welcome back here at Sonora High School. Meeting of the managers, coaches, still at home plate. Basketball, I can stare at a clock so I, I know what time we're going to start. <laughs> Baseball and softball is kind of at the discretion of when they start, they start. Sometime baseball, BR starts at 4.50 for a 5 o'clock game. Supposed to start at 5.30. So, run down the lineups again real quick. Defensively for the Rams, Olman will be on the mound. Tanae Smith behind the plate. Paige Carpenter at first. Logan McCullen at second. Paige Gamby at third. Tristan Norton will be the Rams shortstop. Zoe Rust, I in left. In center field, Anna Frazier. Frazier again with those four steals. On Tuesday, actually, he kind of kick-started the Rams offense a uh, time or two there to uh, the throwing 3-1 to one win for Tenora. And Marin Pittman will be in right field for Coach Fairchild. For Trojans, Riley Endicott will be leading off, batting second. Lola Spies, or Spiels. Batting third, Eliana Stuffus batting fourth. Adeline Sprang batting fifth, Reagan Bruce Cotter batting sixth, Bailey Ashcroft batting seventh, Abigail Langstaff batting eighth, Laney Oliver and batting ninth will be Natalie Stuffus. Later Rams will be here tomorrow, weather permitting against Archibald. May get the game in, supposed to rain in the morning and then in the after the morning, afternoon, early evening supposed to be clear. And then Saturday, it'll be chilly, but in the morning, 11 o'clock, Patrick Henry will be over, so we'll have the playing of our national anthem right now. Batting fifth, playing third base, number 12, Paige Gamby. 
Batting six, playing first base, number two, Paige Carpenter. Batting seven, playing left field, number 34, Zoe Rostad. Playing catcher, batting eighth, number 20, Tanae Smith. Batting ninth, playing right field, number 22, Mayor Pittman. Please stand if you are able in expecting our national anthem. Anthem here at Sonora High School. So welcome in, Rams and the Finley Trojans getting ready to start here. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. You're on Sonora Rams Live. Kylie Zolman coming off her seven inning one hit performance against Bowling Green on Tuesday. 15 strikeouts for Skyly. Two walks. Last season Skyly was 18-2. Yeah, baby. In the area 2.48, 125 innings pitched, struck out 226. Potent, potent batting average for Skyly was 176. Then running down Ram defensively here tonight. Zolman on the mound, Tanae Smith behind the plate. First base, Paige Carpenter, McCool in the second. Paige Gamby at third. Tegan Norton will be at short. Outfield, left to right, Ross Dye. Frazier and Pittman. First three batters, four. Finley, Riley in the cat, Lola Spiels, and Eliana Steffes. David Frank weather forecast here at Sonora High School. 51 degrees. Actually, I think it's warmer outside than this is up here. It feels like it's a little bit air conditioned up here in the press box. When blowing. Pretty much straight away center field, maybe a little bit to right center, or left center. Rams in the home whites tonight. Finley in the blacks with the blue numbers and lettering with the white trim. Riley in the cot. Honorable mention last season in the Three Rivers Athletic Conference. Steps in. Skyly Zolman's first pitch strike. One call. We are underway here at Sonora High School. 540. Your first pitch, and it was 51 degrees. Second pitch to end the cot. Strike two called. No balls, two strikes to the leadoff hitter, Riley Endicott. Zolman wears number 24 on her home white. 0 2 pitch, swung on and missed. Strike three, first out. Another strikeout for Skyly, first out of the inning. Lola Spies 
goes down. Or, or, Riley Endicott goes down. Lola Spies steps in. Bats from the left side. Spies will be in right field. First pitch up and in. Ball one for Coach Steffes and his Lady Trojans. JV baseball over here. I think Lincoln View's playing the Tenora Rams. Varsity today is at Lipsick. 1-0 pitch. Fouled. Third base side. Over by Coach B. One ball, one strike, one out. Nobody on just underway here at Tenora. Tenora and Finley. First time I can remember the Rams playing the Trojans. Really in any sport. So one's 1-1 one, one pitch. Fouled off third base side. This one's over the dugout. One ball, two strikes. Rams baseball team with a eight inning win over Macomb on Tuesday. Eight to seven. Next week the Rams baseball team is home. Rams softball is home for the next this week and next. Pitch swung on and miss strike three. Out number two, second strikeout for Skyly. And Liana Steffes steps in. Steffes will be behind the plate. And she was first team all conference last season. Goldman's pitch. Strike called. Two outs, nobody on. Just underway here. Zolman's pitch. It's two balls, one strike. I think there was a ball in there for something. Illegal pitch was 0-1. And one. The illegal pitch made the count 1-1. One and, one, and the last pitch was 2-1. So a 2-1 pitch from Zolman to Steffes is outside. Three balls. We count two Steffes. Strike called on the outside corner. Umpire says three and one, but Solman's pitch to Steffes, a little bit low, ball four. So down to first base is Aliana Steffes with a two out walk. Adeline Sprang is going to step in. Cleanup hitter Sprang playing in left field for Coach Steffes. Runner at first, two outs. No score here in the top of the first inning. Zolman's pitch. There goes the runner. Pitch gets away from Tanae Smith. Stuffus makes a wide turn a second. She holds on there. A timeout. Meeting of the Rams infield. Count on Adelon Sprang is one ball, no strikes, two outs. Top of inning number one. Game started a half hour late for Finley to make the trip up. Assume they have school today. Or the Rams were on spring break this week. Cleanup hitter Adelon Sprang digs back in. One ball, no strike pitch from Skyly. Catches the outside corner. Called strike. One ball, one strike. Two sprang. Bruce Geyer waits on deck. Pitch by Zolan fouled straight back. One ball, two strikes. <laughs> Two Adeline Sprang. Zip ties everywhere. Sprang just a freshman. Right. Swung on and miss. Down goes Sprang. Third strikeout for Zolman in the inning. No runs. No hits. No Lady Ram errors. And one Trojan left on base. Going to head to the bottom part of inning number one here at Sonora High School. It's the Trojans of Finley. Zero. Lady Rams will be coming to bat. 
The law office of Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a full-service law firm dedicated to providing quality legal services in defiance in all of Northwest Ohio. Since 1965, their attorneys have had a well-deserved reputation of excellence in serving clients with a focus on integrity, advocacy, and understanding. At Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley, we are a general practice law firm that can handle all of your legal needs. We offer high-quality legal work and personal client service, and each of our attorneys is committed to providing you with top-notch legal support. Attorneys Jim Wiener, Danny Hill, Cam Stanley, and Ian Weber are here to assist you. Give them a call at 419-782-3010 or visit them online at wienerlawoffice.com. The law office of Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Bottom part of inning number one here at Tenora High School. Coach Fairchild will send Anna Frazier, Tegan Norton, and Logan McQuillan to face Natalie Stuffus. Stuffus on the mound. Eliana Stuffus behind the plate. Abigail Longstaff at first. Reagan Bruce got her at second. At third is Reagan Ashcraft. Shortstop is Laney Oliver. Outfield left to right. Adeline Sprague, Riley Endicott, and Lola Spiels. Zolman after 15 strikeout performance. Struck out the side in the top of the first inning here. Frazier steps in, Anna four for four in the season opener with four steals. Last year, Anna batted 475. She had 26 steals. So Rams offense obviously starts with Anna Frazier. Natalie Steffes on the mound, first pitch. Outside ball one. Second pitch. That one's outside. Ball two. Yeah. Natalie Stuffis. We get just a freshman. So the freshman on the hill versus Rams. 2 0 pitch from the freshman Stuffis to Frazier. Slaps it just outside the bag at third. Foul ball. Two balls, one strike. In the Rams' bottom part of inning number one. Frazier back into the box. Stuff is 2-1 pitch coming. Squares around. Bunts it, bunts it third base side. Scooped up over to first base. Not in time. As Kraft fielded it by the time she did. Frazier is already on the bag and beyond it. Obviously, Frazier a threat to steal. As we said, Anna with four stolen bases in the season opener Tuesday. And she had 20 Six steals last season. Norton steps in. Squares around the bunt. Takes it. Throw down the first base. Frazier back with the head first dive safely. Norton 0 for 3 on Tuesday. Had 386 last year with 18 RBIs. Tegan did. On deck for the Rams is Logan McQuillan. Frazier at first. Pitch coming. To Norton, there goes Frazier down to second, slides in safely. Stolen base number five for Anna on the season. Pitch to Norton was a strike. Count on Tegan is one ball and one strike. Nobody out here as the Rams bat in the bottom of the second inning. We are scoreless. Norton's trying to change that. Steph is pitch up. Ball two. Two balls and one strike. Two. Tegan Norton. Natalie Steffes on the mound. Freshman righty gets the sign. 2-1 pitch. That stays high. Ball three. Three one coming to Norton. Swung on and miss. Count goes full at three and two. Frazier at second, nobody out. Umpire goes over to the first base dugout, apparently. Just a little too vocal over there, I guess. 
Actually, it's entertaining. I don't know what, what the problem was. 3-2 pitch coming. Outside corner strike three called. Norton caught looking for the first out. Now bring up Logan McQuillan. McQuillan one for three on Tuesday with that huge two RBI single in the sixth inning to break a 1-1 tie to give the Rams a 3-1 lead. Pitch to Logan is ball one. Frazier a second, one out here on the bottom of the first, no score. Opening day for Major League Baseball as well today. First game here for the Finley Trojans. Swung on line just outside the bag at third down the left field line. Foul. One ball, one strike, one out here. McCollum at the dish. Frazier at second. Natalie Steffes on the hill for Finley. Pitch coming. Stays low. Toss from the catcher back to the pitcher escapes. Steffes rolls to the shortstop. Frazier did not advance on the play. 2-1 pitch coming to McQuillan. That one's up and away. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. Natalie Stuffa's pitch fouled back into the bleachers. Now it goes full. Three balls, two strikes. One out. Frazier still at second. Stuff is 3 2 to McQuillan. All speed pitch, ball four. McQuillan draws a walk, so that's going to put Ray, Lady Rams runners at first and second. Skyly Zolman is going to step in. Skyly one for two at the plate with an RBI. Last year, Skyly 304, eight homers, 22 RBIs. Swung on and missed strike one. One out here in the bottom of the first. No score as the Rams bat. Natalie Steffes pitch outside corner strike two. Throw down to second base. Frazier back in time. Oh, two pitch. Strong on and missed strike three. Down goes Zolman for out number two. We're going to make number five hitter Paige Gamby. Gamby playing at third base was 0 for 2 on Tuesday last year. Gamby was in the 8th grade. She's a starter for Coach Fairchild. Taps it foul. Oh, kid, nice cut. Third base side. Coach Fairchild scoops it up. Your foot, your foot. Go, Paige. No balls, one strike to Gamby. Two outs. Rams with runners at first and second. Scoreless here in the bottom of inning number one. Blade steel steal. Frazier heads down to third safely. McQuillan down to second. Was it a steal or the ball just got away from the catcher? Kind of both, really. So Frazier's on a third. McQuillan's on a second. One ball, one strike to Gamby. Two outs here. Steph is pitched to Gamby. Deep drive. Right field. Back. Off the fence. That's going to score two. Rounding third goes McQuillan. Gamby with a double. Play at the plate. Safe. Throw down to third base, went over the third baseman. That is Croft Ed. Adeline Sprague with a nice backup. She was right there. So an opposite field double by Paige Gamby, plates two. Gives the Rams a 2-0 lead. She missed a home run by about six feet. Hit right the base of the fence, I believe. Carpenter steps in for Tenor. Pitches high and away. Rams up 2-0 as they bat here in the bottom of the first inning. Runner on second, two outs. One ball, no strike. Pitch to Paige Carpenter. She bloops it into right field. Right fielder comes on and makes a nice running catch. Nice Lotus Fields. Nice Retires the Rams. 
The Rams get two runs. They do so on two hits, no errors. Rams leave one. After an inning to play, an inning of play here at Sonora High School is the Lady Rams two, and the Finley Trojans nothing here on your Drop Zone Pizzeria scoreboard. We'll be back after this time out. Who couldn't use an extra three thousand or two thousand? Okay, how about a thousand or even five hundred? Those are the top four prizes in the most recent Sonora Athletic Boosters fundraiser. Tickets are $10 each or six for 50. Get a ticket at any Tenora home game. Just visit a booster member or go to our Facebook page at Tenora Athletic Boosters. The drawing will be held after 2,000 tickets are sold for a spring sports drawing. The Athletic Boosters is a nonprofit organization that supports the Tenora athletes, coaches, and athletic facilities. The Boosters support is shown many ways, including volunteering time, raising money, and contributing funds to better enhance the Rams team's or organization's performance. Yearly and lifetime memberships are available. That's the Tenora Rams Athletic Boosters who are a proud sponsor of Tenora Sports and Tenora Rams Live. Underway here at the top of inning number two. First pitch is a strike. Five, six, and seven for the Trojans to face Zolman. Second pitch is a strike to Rankin Bruce Goddard. Bruce Goddard playing at second base. Zolman looks at the wristband, gets the pitch. Bruce Goddard checks in from the right side of the plate. Strike three called. The junior Bruce Goddard goes down looking. Strikeout number four for Zolman. First out of the inning. Betting in the sixth position is Bailey Ashcraft. She was an honorable mention last season in the track. First pitch from Zolman swung on and missed. Ashcraft playing at third base for Coach Steffes. Time out on the field. Coach Fairchild is going to go out and have a conversation with the field umpire. Did he rule the last pitch, Brad, uh, the legal pitch again? Do you know? I think that was the second one on Skyly. So I think that's why Coach Fairchild is going to go out there and have a f conversation with the field umpire to see what Skyley's doing. Rams up 2-0 as the Trojans bat in the top of the f second inning. Paige Gamby with a huge opposite field 2-RBI double to give the Rams a 2-0 lead. Coach Fairchild heads back to the dugout. Ashcraft steps in. It's a shortstop side. Warren scoops it up, fires over to Carpenter for out number two. Nice play out there by the Rams shortstop Tegan Norton. 6-4 on the, 6-3 on the out. Out number two, Abigail Langstaff. The coaching first baseman digs in. Roman's first pitch swung on and missed. No, I, I missed it. I was just talking on that one. Senior lying staff bats from the right side of the plate. Blue numbers are much better to see from the back side than the front. The, they look nice, but in the field, navy blue on black does not look too well visually. Change up by Zolman. All speed pitch. Langstaff wanted to swing at it. She does a good job holding back. One ball, one strike. Two outs, nobody on. Rams with a 2 nothing lead as a Trojan bat at the top of inning number two here at Sonora. That pitch swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes now to Langstaff. Rams play Archibald tomorrow. Lady weather permitting, the way, the way it sounds. One, two, pitch coming. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Strikeout number five for, for Skyly. And... I'm pretty sure he said. I guess it's 2-2. So it's 2-2. My, my bad. I should go right out my scorebook. So hopefully Skyly just strikes her out. Drilled center field. Frazier comes on. Can't make the play. It's a single for Langstaff. So Langstaff is on at first base with the first hit off Stolman. 
Number eight hitter, Laney Oliver, digs in. That's from the left side of the plate. Pitch outside off the glove of Tanae Smith. She scoops it up, fires down to second, not in time. Langstaff alertly goes down to second base. One ball, no strikes to Laney Oliver. Ramps up 2-0 here in the top of the second inning. Two outs, runner at second. Langstaff with the lead, or not the lead, she's on at second. This pitch is fouled off first base side, or third base side. Five thirty was our start time. Actually started at five forty here tonight. Pitch is outside. Two balls and one strike to Laney Oliver. Zolman so looks at the wristband, gets the pitch. Her two one pitch to Oliver outside. Three balls, one strike. Number nine hitter Natalie Stuffus awaits on deck. Two two pitch coming. That's low to the backstop. It goes down to third base. Goes Langstaff. Colin Oliver. Three two. Three balls, two strikes. Zolman's pitch. A little bit outside and low. Ball four. So Oliver is on at first. Runners at first and third for the Lady Trojans. Two out here on the top of inning number two. Number nine hitter, Natalie Stuffis steps in. Stuffis on the mound, just a freshman for Fenley. Hit right back through the box under the glove of Zolman, picked up by the ramp shortstop, Tegan Norton. Steps on second base for out number three. Trojans threaten, they do not score. No runs for Finley. They get one hit, no Lady Ram errors. Trojans leave two after an inning and a half here at Tenora High School. Lady Rams two and Finley nothing on your Drop Zone Pizzeria scoreboard. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Contact them at 419-428-3000 or visit them online at higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. Higby Embroider is a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. Bottom of inning number two. Rams up 2 nothing. 7-8-9, Ross, Ty, Smith, and Pittman to face Natalie Steffes. Steffes, 24 pitches in the first inning. First pitch to Rastai, hit outside the bag at first. One strike on Zoe. Zoe was one for two Tuesday, last year 227 with five RBIs. Natalie Steffes on the hill, 0-1 pitch, stays high. Count evens one ball and one strike. We said weather permitting, we'll be back here tomorrow. Lady Streaks of Archibald Bowl. Make the bus trip down. South just a little bit. 1-1 one, one pitch to Rastai. Called strike two. Next door at the JV game. It's 3-2 Lincoln View. And Bridget, let me see. 1-2 one, pitch coming to Rastai from Steffes. Fouled off first base side. Out of play. Count evens at, or stays at 1-2. One ball, two strikes. Rams up 7 nothing going into the bottom of the fourth. Says Bridget, Rams baseball over at Lipsick. Wow.
one two pitch to Rostai. Tap first base side. First baseman Langstaff scoops it up, touches the bag at first for out number one. Where you swing bats, though? It's going to bring up Rams catcher Tanae Smith. Base is empty for Smith. Rams up 2 nothing as they bat here in the bottom of inning number two. Pitch stays up and away. Ball one. It's 51 degrees at first pitch on your David Franck weather forecast. Up here, I think it's 40. <laughs> At least it feels like it. Pitch to Smith is ball, ball two. Two balls, no strikes, and one out. Wind blowing out to center field, around eight miles an hour, if that. 2-0, pitch to Tanay, fouled straight back. One ball, two strike, or one ball, or two balls, Good one good. strike, Morning. one out. Rams up 2 nothing here in the bottom of the second. 3-1 victory on Tuesday versus Bowling Green. Game scheduled Friday here versus Archibald and Saturday versus Patrick Henry. Steph is 2 2 Smith swung on and missed. Two balls and two strikes to Tanae Smith. All speed pitch stays high. Counts full to Tanae, three and two. Aaron Pittman awaits on deck for the Lady Rams. Steph is three, two to Smith. One on and missed right three. Down goes Tanae for out number two. Nobody on for Pittman. Rams up two nothing here in the bottom of inning number two on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Track also over here at Sonora High School. I think Rams are hosting Antwerp and track. Fouled straight back. Pittman playing in right field for Coach Fairchild tonight. Bats from the right side. One of the five Rams seniors. That one's low. Count evens to Marin at one and one. One ball, one strike. Two outs. Bases empty. Rams with a two-nothing lead. Courtesy of Paige Gamby's two RBI double in the bottom of the first inning. Pittman fouls it off first base side. It's the top of the net and trickles over. Fight up there. So we have softball here at the complex. We have baseball, JV-wise, on the new turf field over there. And track. One, two to Mary. She wears that one on her hip. She's going to trot down to first base after she gets nailed on her hip. But the new installation of turf over at the Rams baseball field took place last, last fall. So Pittman's on a first with two outs, top of the Rams order. Anna Frazier steps in. Frazier with a single, a stolen base, and a run scored in the first inning. Steph is pitch coming to Frazier. Ball one. Frazier bats from the left side of the plate. A little slap hitter. 1-0 pitch. Slaps it. Foul. Into the net. Third base side. On deck for the Lady Rams is Tegan Norton. Do you know thing, Tenora? Here on the bottom of inning number two. Natalie Stuffus on the mound for Finley. Frazier with the plate. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Anna. Stays high. Ball two. Throw down. Well, fake throw down to first base. Bentman dives in. Back safely. No. 2-1 pitch. 
Again, slap foul, third base side this time. Count goes to two balls, two strikes, two outs. Two nothing Rams here in the bottom of inning number two. Deuces are wild, Pittman on at first. Frazier at the dish. Norton on deck. Steph is pitched. Off speed stays low. F count goes full at three balls and two strikes. <laughs> Natalie Steph is pitched. Foul back. Count stays full at three balls and two strikes. Coach Fairchild coaching at third. Coach B coaching at first. Pittman back to first. We're going to do it all over again. 3-2 pitch coming to Frazier. Natalie Steffes throws it. Fly ball. Left field snagged out there by Sprang for out number three. So Rams. No runs. No hits. No errors. One left on. After an inning and a half play here at Sonora High School. The Lady Rams two. And Finley. Nothing. We'll be back after this timeout here on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Have your hair and nails gotten out of control over the past few months? Cut and Polish Salon of Defiance is your local salon to get all pampered up. Cut and Polish Salon offers a vast range of quality services, including haircuts, highlights, specialty coloring, waxing, manicures, and pedicures. Please schedule a visit at their fun, relaxing salon where you can be sure that all of your hair and nail needs are a top priority. Cut and Polished Hair and Nail Salon is located at 413 Hopkins Street in Defiance. Be sure to book your appointment today by calling 419-576-5087 or do your booking online by visiting their Facebook page. Cut and Polished Salon says, remember, it's all fun and games until someone breaks a nail. Cut and Polished Salon is a proud supporter of Tenora Rams Live. Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Back at, back at Tenora High School's 2-0 Lady Rams. Top of inning number three coming up. Over at Lipsick, it's seven nothing in the bottom of inning number four. Alex Shoblin on the hill for Tenora, pitching well per Bridget. First pitch fouled off first base side foul. Top of the lineup, Riley Indicott steps in. She struck out, swinging her first plate appearance. Zolman's 0-1. That one stays high. Count evens at one ball and one strike. Kylie's 1-1. One, one. Fouled back, third base side. One ball and two strikes. Rams up 2-0 as we bat in the top of inning number three. One-two pitch from Zolman. Fouled off first base side out of play. Over on the playground here. Base is empty. One, two pitch coming to Endicott. Off speed pitch, just a little bit inside. Count evens at two balls and two strikes. Well, there went the hot spot. Hopefully, it stayed connected. Two, two pitch coming from Zolman. Tap foul. Count stays at two, two. As I know we're still connected. Says so we are. 2-2 <laughs> two, two pitch from Zolman coming. Hit right back through the box. Zolman stabs it. Fires over to Carpenter at first for out number one. Retiring Riley Indicott. 1-3 on the put out for the first out here. In the top of the third. Going to bring up number two hitter. Ola Spiels. Spiels also struck out in the first inning. Guy with five strikeouts through the first two and the third. 
First pitch, outside, ball one. Pitch off to Nace Miskolov to the backstop. Two balls and no strikes. Zolman, 40 pitches with 26 strikes through two and a third innings. Allowed just one hit. She has struck out four and walked two. Tap foul just outside the bag at third. Gamby with a dive. Right past third base coach over there for Finley, Brian Steffes. Chad Phillips on the staff here at Finley. Graduate of Tenora High School. 2-1 pitch coming. Outside ball three, three balls, one strike, one out here. Lady Rams up two nothing. Top of inning number three. Stay tuned, Bidlack and Church on the Vestments post game show when the Rams win. We'll have the Higby Embroidery player of the game. Zolman's three one. That's up and in. Down the first base is Lola Spiels. So Spiels draws a one out walk. Eliana Steffes will step in. Senior Steffes bats from the right side. Runner at first, one out. Zolman's pitch. That's in. Ball one. One ball, no strike pitch coming from Zolman to Eliana Steffes. That finally gets the zone. One ball, one strike, one out. Runner at first. Top of the third inning, two nothing Rams. Paige Gamby with the two out, two RBI double in the first inning. Zolman's one one pitch tap, first base side. Carpenter scoops it up, beats. Stuff us to the bag for out number two. Three unassisted on the put out. Bring up number four hitter. Left fielder, Adeline Sprang, she struck out in the first inning as well. Runner a second now. That was Spies moved over to a second on the ground ball. All-speed pitch by Zolman. Catches the outside corner for strike one. Two outs here in the top of the third inning is the Trojans bat. Pitch to Sprang as foul back, strike two. Edelon Sprang, another freshman starter for Finley. Zolman's 0-2 inside. Nice stop by Smith. Rams backstop. One ball and two strikes. Two outs, runner at second. Here in the top of the third, 2-0 Lady Rams on top. Maybe this is the first game for Finley. I could not find any results. Rams 1-0. That one's low and in. Ball three. Count goes full. Three balls, two strikes, two out. Sprang at the plate. Zolman on the mound. Looks at the wristband and gets the pitch. Her 3-2. Hit through the box. That should be interference on the runner. Runner was breaking from second. Tegan Norton went to feel the ball. They kind of collided, so that will be runner interference. That's automatic out. So Sprang should be at the plate next inning. So we'll give the out. Number three to Steffes when we come back. So in the inning, no runs for Finley. No hits. No Lady Ram errors, and they leave. Well, actually, they don't leave any. So after two and a half innings here at Sonora High School, Lady Rams two, and Finley nothing. Here on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Here 
The Ant Stevens Body Shop is your number one voted auto collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. We have recently built a brand new state of the art 20,000 square foot body shop along with a 2,500 square foot addition to our paint shop. This includes a brand new eco friendly paint booth that is top of the line. At Ant Stevens, we use the latest and newest technology the industry has to offer. We are your experts on all makes and models of vehicles and are the only Chrysler, Ford, and GM certified collision repair facility in Northwest Ohio. Give us a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate or stop by and visit us in downtown Jewel, Ohio. Matt and Stevens Body Shop would like to wish all teams good luck this season. Sure. Getting close to an hour old here at Sonora High School. Game just under an hour old. We started at 5.30. Well, actually 5.40. So I guess we're a little bit less than an hour old. 50 minutes old. 51 degrees. Here we go, take it. At first pitch. <laughs> Norton McQuillan Zolman, your three hitters here in the third inning. First pitch is fouled back, strike one. Natalie Steffes on the mound, Eliana Steffes behind the plate. Abigail Longstaff at first. Rue Cotter is second, Oliver is short. Ashcraft at third. 0-1 pitch coming to Norton. Oh, blooper shortstop side. Oliver snags it for out. Number one. Oh, blooper off the bat of Tegan Norton. I said Tegan. Hauled in by the shortstop. Outfield is Allen Sprang in the left. Riley Indicott in center and Lola Spiels in right for Finley. Stepping in for the Lady Rams is Logan McQuillan. Walked and scored on that Gamby double in inning number one. McQuillan was one for three. She had the game-winning RBI in the sixth inning Tuesday in that 3-1 win over Bowling Green. <laughs> Swinging for the fences, McQuillan swings and misses. One ball and one strike on Logan. One out, base is empty. Rams up 2-0 as they bat here in the bottom of inning number three. This one's fouled right back at you. One ball and two strikes. Skyly Zolman on deck for the Lady Rams. Devonna Holmes down there, all bundled up. Unfortunately for Devonna, she won't miss her senior season due to a knee injury. One, two pitch coming. Swung on and missed by Logan. She went fishing on that one. Strikeout for Natalie Steffes. That's out number two. Just hit it. Fourth strikeout for Steffes. Four strikeouts, one walk. Zolman steps in. First pitch to her is fouled at the plate. Strike one. Base is empty. Rams up 2 nothing as they bat here in the bottom of the third. No balls, one strike to Zolman. Skyly. Was one for two on Tuesday, swung on and missed. No balls and two strikes to Skyly. For freshman, Natalie Stuff is pitching very well. Her through two and two thirds. Zolman, off speed pitch, strike. Goes down swinging for strike three. Rams go very quickly here in inning number three. No runs, no hits. No Finley errors, and the Rams do not leave anybody on base. We're ahead at the top of inning number four. Lady Rams two, and Finley zero on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Getting better together is our goal for you and your family at Fairchild Family Chiropractic. Here, we are focused on getting our patients to achieve long-term wellness just beyond short-term symptom relief. At Fairchild Family Chiropractic, we do this by working closely with you and personalizing each treatment plan. Now open and accepting new patients. Come see Dr. A.J. Fairchild at 100 Stadium Drive. Call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at fairchildfamilychiro.com. Dr. Fairchild, a proud Tenora alum says go Rams. Make sure you stop out and see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla and hook you up 100 Stadium Drive. Go to FairchildFamilyCairo.com and you can book an appointment online. And top of the fourth inning, four, five, and six to face Skyly Zolman. Adeline Sprang steps in. 
Well, actually, she's not. Actually, it's Reagan Bostetter, so it's Sprang was the last out. That was on interference on the base runner. So Reagan Bruce Cotter steps in. On one count to her, she fouls it at the plate. No balls and two strikes. I have to go back and see how they scored that last inning. Zolman's 0 2 pitch coming to Bruce Cotter. Swung on in. That's strike three. Bruce got her the first strikeout of the inning. <laughs> that doesn't sound like good business. Strike on number five for Skyly. I was surprised they were only a Billy Ashcraft steps on, tops it. Back to Zolman. She scoops it up, fires over to Paige Carpenter for out number two. One three on the put out. Abigail Langstaff is going to dig in. Singled in the second, made it as far as third. Two nothing Rams, pitch, catches the outside corner, strike one. Two outs, nobody on in the top half of the fourth inning. That pitch is inside, one ball, one strike, two outs. Two nothing to our courtesy of two runs in the bottom of the first inning, courtesy of third baseman Paige Gamby. That one got away from Zolman. Two balls and one strike. Langstaff one for one, two one pitch coming to her from Skyly. Strike two call, pitch to the outside corner. Skyly approaching 60 pitches. She may have exceeded that actually in that last one. Two, two. That's going to hit the gap in right center field. Frazier races over to get it. Throw back in off the glove of McQuillan. In with a double is Langstaff. Two out double. Puts a runner for Finley at second. Going to bring up the number eight hitter, Laney Oliver. Oliver walked in the second. It's the Second hit off Zolman. Through three and two thirds. First pitch from Skyly to Oliver. Strike one on the outside corner. On deck, number nine hitter, pitcher Natalie Steffes. Zolman's 0 1 to Oliver. It's check swing. Strike two. I think the ball was in her glove when she started her swing. Runner at second, two outs, Rams up 2 nothing. Finley batting in the top of inning number four here at Sonora High School. 0-2 pitch coming, way outside. Count goes to one ball and two strikes. Weather permitting, we'll be back here Friday and Saturday. Archibald in tomorrow. Patrick Henry, 11 a.m. start Saturday morning. 1-2 pitch, swung on and missed by Oliver. Oliver goes down for out number three. No runs, one hit, no Lady Ram airs, one left on. After three and a half here at Tenora High School, Tenora two, and Finley nothing. Will you act? Bottom of inning number four coming right up. The Fired Stone Tavern in Defiance is anything but basic. In 2021, the Fired Stone Tavern was voted to have the best pizza in the area. Now, in 2022, they've been voted as the best burgers around. Firestone Tavern is the area's go-to for wood-fired pizza, amazing appetizers, and so much more. Chef Aaron and his staff are here to serve nothing but the best. No plans after the big game? Stop out for ice-cold drinks and all the games on TV you can ask for. Our back room and patio are available for events like birthdays, corporate lunches, parties, and much, much more during the week with a 25-person minimum. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course, the hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Give the Firestone Tavern a call, 419-785-4015, or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern wishes the best to all the Tenora teams. Let's go, 
Like I always say, there's too many food commercials during the break. Firestone Tavern. If they just get the road open down there, it would make it even better. Deep drive, center field. Back goes the center fielder, and it's gone. Paige Gamby. First pitch she saw from Natalie Steffes over the center field fence for a solo home run. Rams up 3-0 here. All runs courtesy of freshman third baseman Paige Gamby. Well, Coach Fairchild was gleaming about her during the basketball season. Couldn't wait to get her on the diamond and she has definitely showed why here in the second game of the season. Paige Carpenter steps in. Paige flew out to right field her first plate appearance. 1-0 pitch, catches the outside corner. Count evens at one ball and one strike. Three nothing Rams as they bat here in the bottom of the fourth versus the Finley Lady Trojans. 1-1 pitch from Steffes to Carpenter. Little shot off the handle, scooped up by the second baseman, Reagan Bruce Goddard. She fires over to first base Langstaff for out number one. Nice hit. I mean, stood there. 4-3 on the putout. Zoe Rostice steps in. Turns out to the first baseman unassisted. Her first plate appearance in the second. Rostice won for two on Tuesday, batted 227 last season. Stuff is pitched to Rostai, swung on a miss, strike one. You're ready now. Come on, Joey. Thanks, everybody, for joining us here on this Thursday here on Tenora Rams Live. 3-0 Tenora as they bat in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch to Zoe. Stays inside. One ball, one strike, one out. Tap foul at the plate. Off Rostai's foot. Danae Smith on deck for the Lady Rams. Rams with two in the first and one in the fourth with a three nothing lead as they bat here in the bottom of the fourth. A little blooper behind the plate. Nice effort by Aliana Steffes, the Finley catcher, little blooper behind the plate off of the bat of Ross Dye. Steffes with a dive back by the netting. Came up about a foot short. Bases empty, one out, one, two count coming from Steffes to Zoe Ross Dye. Fouls it back this time over the fence, over the backstop. And that spot actually opened up. The, the, the injury to Devonna Holmes was going to be Tenora's third baseman, as she was last year. Swung on and missed. Down goes Rostai for out number two. Oh, you did? One senior last year on the team, Quinn Horn, anchored down the third spot. Devonna played third every now and then, sometimes in right field, but I think she was supposed to take over the position this year for Quinn. And the injury to Devana open up the spot. And that's where Paige Gamby steps in. Tanae Smith digs in. She is 0 for 1, struck out in the second. one 0 pitch coming to Smith from Steffes. Foul ball, first base side into the Finley dugout. One ball, one strike, two outs, nobody on. 3 nothing Rams here in the bottom of the fourth. JV tied at two versus Lincoln View. That should be about uh, seventh inning over there. Pitch to Smith is fouled off. One ball, two strikes. Rams baseball team over at Lipsick was up seven nothing. And that's the last I heard from Bridget. That only stuff is one, two pitch to today Smith. The ball. Count evens at two balls and two strikes. Steffes approaching 70 pitches. She's allowed 
three runs all earned, has struck out six Rams and walked one. And as I said, she's just a freshman. 2-2 two, to two, two, Tanae is outside ball three. Seventy pitches, forty-four strikes for Steffes. Three-two coming to Tanae Smith. Foul tipped into the glove for strike three, so Smith goes down. Rams get one run, courtesy of Paige Gamby's home run. First pitch she saw, she hit to straightaway center field over the fence out there, out by the 2018 Final Four sign. One run, one hit, no errors. Rams do not leave anybody. We're headed to the top of inning number five here at Tenora High School in your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. It is the Tenora Lady Rams three, the Finley Lady Trojans nothing. And we'll be back right after this. Looking for an opportunity where you can grow your career, be appreciated, and be an owner where you work? Did we say owner? Yes! Mech is an employee-owned company that is highly motivated and actively supports the communities in which our facilities are located. Mayville Engineering needs you. Mech is an employee-owned business where our focus is on our customers' success. Mech has been named the nation's number one fabricator for 12 consecutive years in a survey published by the Fabricator magazine. Join the Mech family today. Full and part-time positions are available. $1,000 sign-on bonus, 401k, vacation and holiday pay, gain-sharing program, employee stock ownership, medical, dental, and vision insurance, short-term and long-term disability, and shift premiums for second and third shift. Visit our website, mechinc.com. Click on careers or visit the 21 Seneca Street lobby at the Defiance location. Welcome back to Tenora High School. Top of any number five, it's three nothing Lady Rams. Two in the first and one in the fourth, all courtesy of Paige Gamby. Zolman on the mound at the plate for Finley is Natalie Steffes, nine, and then the top one and two for the Lady Trojans. Steffes, 0 for 1. Zolman, 65 pitches, 42 strikes through four. 0 1 pitch. Ball one counts even at one ball and one strike. Gamby in at third. I see, I see you can't see. Hit right at her, off her shoulder, over to Norton. Norton got a glove on it. She could not scoop it up over at first base. Will be Natalie Steffes. It's going to say Paige, maybe it's just a step too close there and <laughs> rock it right at her. Deflected off her glove. Over to the Ram shortstop, Tika Norton. Norton. Couldn't get a good grip on it either. By the time she did, throw it over to first base, not in time. Stuff is on. Paul in to run for Stuff is at first. Here on Gamby. It's true. Top of the fifth, three nothing Lady Rams. Finley, base runner on at first. Nobody out. So Paul. Is the pinch runner at first for Steffes. Top of the lineup, Riley Indicott. Swung and missed. Strike one. Indicott 0 for two. Struck out in the first. And grounded back to Zolman in the third. Oh, one pitch coming to Endicott. Center fielder squares around the butt, misses it. Throw down to second base. Nice. In time. Nice throw by Tanae Smith. McQuillan was waiting, actually waiting there on the runner. Slapped a tag on Paul for out number one. Caught stealing for out number one. In the cot at the plate. She, of course, lines it into the gap in right center field. Frazier fires into second base. McQuillan tagged just a little bit late. In the cot in with a one out double. And it never fails if you have somebody picked off. 
the next um, batter usually gets on base, <laughs> and sure enough, double to the right center gap by Riley Endicott. <laughs> I would have scored the pinch runner Paul, but she was caught stealing. Well, Spiels steps in. She is 0 for 1. Squares around the bunt, bunts it right back to the mound. Right in front of the plate, actually. Tanae Smith hops out from her catching position, fires over to first base. Nice play by Rams catcher Tanae Smith. 2-3 on the put out for out number two. Runner moves over to third in the cot, but she's there with two outs. Oh, I got a future. Stepping in, the number two hitter, right fielder Lolas, or actually number three hitter, Eliana Steffes. Hits it to the shortstop. Line drive on the ground to the Rams shortstop, Tegan Norton, right at her. Fires over to first base to Paige Carpenter for out number three. In the inning for Finley, they threaten to get a runner as far as third. They do not score. No runs. One hit. No errors. And the Trojans leave one on base. After four and a half here at Sonora High School, Lady Rams three and the Finley Lady Trojans nothing. We'll be back right after this from our fantastic sponsors here at Sonora Rams Live. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance wishes all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. Bottom of the fifth inning coming up is 3 nothing Rams. Rams with two in the first and one in the fourth. Paige Gamby, two out, two RBI double in inning number one. And Gamby saw the, or took the first pitch that she saw in the fourth inning over the center field fence for a solo home run. So it's Gamby three, <laughs> Finley nothing. Nine, one, and two for the Lady Rams, Pittman, Frazier, and Norton to face Natalie Steffes. Steffes, four innings pitch, three hits, three runs all earned. First pitch to Pittman, strike called. She struck out seven, walked one. She has 72 pitches, 45 strikes. So he said again, the righty is just a freshman. Oh, one to Pittman, check swing, fouled back, no balls, and two strikes on deck for the Tenora Rams is Hannah Frazier. <laughs> Senior Pittman digs in from the right side. Steffes on the hill. Pitch is outside corner, looked just a little bit outside, but Aaron gets caught looking for out number one. Top of the Rams lineup, Anna Frazier. <laughs> Frazier with a single, a stolen base, and a run scored in the first inning. Flew out to left field. Or second at bat. This one, she bunts it third base side. The pitcher off the mound, gets it, fires down the first base into the right field corner. Frazier alertly rounds the bag and heads down to second base. So Anna with a bunt single will head down to second on the air on the throw. So Frazier in scoring position for one out. T. Norton will step in. Tegan 0 for 2, struck out looking in the first and popped out to the shortstop in the third. Stuff has pitched a little blooper foul behind the plate first base side. Strike one. No balls, one strike, one out. Bottom of the fifth inning, 3 nothing. Tenora. Frazier on at second. Logan McQuillan on deck for Tenora. Norton bats from the right side. 0-1 pitch to her. Fly ball. Left field. Left fielder out there. Sprang puts it away for out number two. Ball gets away from the infield. Frazier alertly head first dive into third base. Anna, you can't, you can't ever 
put your head down or have an error throw on her because she's going to take off on you. So all number two, Norton flies out to the left fielder to throw in, got away from the Finley infield, and we said Anna Frazier literally took off, and she's standing at third now with two outs. Logan McQuillan steps in, walked and scored in the first. First pitch to her. Foul ball, first base height, strike one. And in the third inning, Logan struck out. She was one for three Tuesday. She had 15 RBIs in 2022. Rams up 3-0 here in the bottom of the fifth. Swung on and missed. No balls and two strikes to McQuillan. Drive in here, Logan. And at least stuff is so to coming to McQuillan. Puts it in play, but she fouls it off. First base side. Count stays at no balls and two strikes. So hopefully we're here tomorrow on Thursday. Forecasts calls for a lot of rain in the morning. It's supposed to have a couple hours of dryness. Field here does dry pretty well. 0-2 pitch coming. Stays high. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Frazier at third with two outs, 3 nothing. Tenora. So it can take a lot of rain, just heavy rain, probably not so much, but a light rain. Like I said, the field here drains really well. One, two pitch, inside, count evens at two balls and two strikes, two outs. On deck, Skyly Zolman. Stuff is 2-2 coming to McQuillan. High ball three. Count goes full, three and two. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, protect oh, Logan. Too close to two two strikes. Stuff is back in the circle. Three, two, coming to Logan McQuillan. Deep fly, right or left field, back she goes, and it's gone. McQuillan hits it over the left field fence for a two-run home run, scoring Anna Frazier from third. McQuillan rounds the bag at third. She's met there by her teammates. McQuillan with a two-out. Full count, two-run home run to give the Lady Rams a 5 nothing lead. Deep drive, left field, left fielder. For Finley, Sprang just ran out of room. Okay, Skyly, base hit. Tuesday, Coach B's dog was out there. She would have fetched that. <laughs> Skyly Zolman steps in. First pitch to Skyly, catches the outside corner. Strike one. Zolman 0 for 2 with two swinging strikeouts. Skyly 1 for 2 on Tuesday. Skyly bats from the right side. She takes that one. Ball one. Skyly drills it deep left field. That's foul. Straighten it out, Skyly. Rams have five runs, three of them on home runs. And actually, in the first inning, Gamby's home run hit the base of the fence in right field. You can do it. One, two coming from Steffes to Zolman. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Zolman <laughs> goes down for the third straight time. Skyly with the hat trick. So the Rams get two runs. They do so on a big fly by Logan McQuillan. Two hits in the inning. No errors. Nobody left on. So after five innings of play here at Sonora High School, we head to the sixth inning. Lady Rams five and Finley nothing. We'll be back right after this. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun of Defiance has been serving Northwest Ohio for over 30 years. Need cash? Collateral pawn loans are available. Stop in and see Shar and the staff at 5727 State Route 66 North in Defiance, Ohio. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun carries a full line of new and pre-owned items that include firearms, ammo, optics, game systems, knives, jewelry, and Amish Poly furniture. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun has in-house jewelry as well as a gunsmith on site. Hours of operation are Monday 10 to 7, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 5, and Saturday 9 to 3. Got questions? Give them a call, 419-784-9880, or visit them online at woodenindianpawn.com, or visit their Facebook page. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun, your locally owned pawn specialists. Say, go Rams.
Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Back here, top of inning number six. Rams up 5 nothing. Four, five, and six. Sprang Bruce Goddard and Ashcraft to face Skyly Zolman. Sprang fouls it off. Count it to her as one ball and one strike. Zolman, 73 pitches through five. Three hits, no runs, six Ks, three walks for Skyly. One, one pitch from Skyly to Sprang. All speed pitch, just a little bit up, says the home plate umpire. Wind has died down. Almost no wind here at Tenora High School over there. At the JV game, it's 3-2 Rams. Looks like top of the seventh inning, and that's JV. Pitch here was a ball. Two balls and two strikes. Uh, Rams baseball, as we said, playing over at Lipsick. It's 8-3 Rams, bottom of inning number six, says Bridget. 2-2 two -two pitch from Zolman, swung on, fouled back. Count stays even at 2-2. Check swing stays high. Count goes full at 3-2. Rams with 2 in the first, 1 in the fourth, and 2 in the fifth to grab that 5 nothing lead. Zolman on the hill has gone the distance. Her full count or pitch coming to Sprang is fouled behind us out of play. Count stays at three and two. Game approximately an hour and 40 minutes old, we'll say. Three, two pinch from Zolman to the plate. Outside, stays outside, says the ump. Lead off walk for Finley. Sprang down at first base. Walk number four for Skyly. Gonna bring up the number five hitter, Reagan Bruce Dott, Bruce Cotter. First pitch to her is fouled into that first base side. Like you said, you gotta be alert over there. Some balls come off the bat like rockets on that first base dugout from the right-handed batter. Bruce got her 0 for 2, two strikeouts for her. Runner at first, nobody out. Rams up 5-0. Zolman's 0-1, swung on and miss. One ball, one strike. Smith behind the plate, Carpenter at first, McCullen at second. Norton at short, and Gamby at third. 0-2 pitch stays high, Ram outfield. Rostai in left, Frazier in center, and Pittman in right. Zolman's 1-2-2. Two, two. Bruce got her. A little bit low, gets away from Smith. Down to second, goes to runner. She rounds the bag. She's going to head to third. Smith's throw just a little bit high. Runner sprang, hustles all the way to third. Nice throw today. So runner at third and nobody out. Two balls, two strike is the count to the number five hitter, the second baseman, Regan Bruscotter. Deep breath, Skyway, you're all right. Junior at third. This one is fouled off first base side. Nice craft on deck for Finley. Zolman's 2-2 two -two strike. Three called, caught the outside corner. Bruce Goddard goes down looking for strikeout number seven for Skyly. Runner remains at third. Ashcroft steps in. Iron will mention last season, Bailey Ashcroft. Third baseman, 0 for 2. Pitch from Skyly. Strike call. Skyly, 85 pitches. 55 strikes. 
On deck, Abigail Langstaff for Finley. Swung on and missed, strike two up and in. Junior Ashcroft bats from the right side of the plate. Number four on her black jersey. She goes down swing, throw it down to third by Smith. Back with a head first dive. It sprang. Well, that's out number two. Runner still at third now with two outs. And Abigail Langstaff digs in from the right side. Swung on and missed way out in front, right, Langstaff. Coach B shouts out the sequence. Whatever that first pitch was, that was she definitely called that one right. This one's fouled into the net on the first base side. No balls and two strikes, two outs, runner a third. Ramps up 5 nothing here, top of inning number six. Runner was at third with nobody out. Zolman trying to wiggle out of this one. Change up just a little bit low. Nice stop by Smith. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Zolman's one, two. Swung on, fouled right back. Langstaff staying alive. Laney Oliver on deck for Finley. Finley making the trip north about an hour and 15 minute bus ride, I think coach said. Swung on and missed way out in front is Langstaff. Zolman strikes out the side. Finley threatens, they leave a runner at third. They had a runner at third with nobody out and they do not score. In the inning for the Trojans, no runs, no hits, no errors. And they leave a runner at third. Six runners stranded by the Lady Trojans. After five and a half here at Snore on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard, it is the Lady Rams five and Finley nothing. Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker offers the area's best pizza, wings, subs, and calzones. In fact, Drop Zone Pizzeria was voted the area's best pizza in 2020 and again for 2022. From pickle pizza to pilot bread to grandma pizza, Drop Zone Pizzeria is always looking outside the pizza box for something special for their fantastic customers. Order by calling in Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or in Stryker at 419-990-2525. Hours of operation close Monday, Tuesday through Thursday, and Sunday, 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday till 9. Drop Zone Pizzeria now with two locations, downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiant Street in downtown Stryker. Stop in at the Stryker location for a bite of ice cream. Visit them on Facebook at the Drop Zone Pizzeria where online ordering is available. And remember, the Drop Zone Pizzeria says go Rams. Stopping in is Paige Gamby. First pitch to her is strike one. The freshman Gamby was playing Three of the runs, two in the first, and a solo home run in the fourth. Deep fly to left field by Page. This one she smashes into the safety net in front of the Rams dugout. No balls and two strikes to Page. Double in the first off That's the right one, field wall for Gamby. And then last inning in the fifth, let off, or last inning in the, yeah, fifth, hit a, in the fourth, hit one straightaway center field for a solo home run. 0-2 pitch to Gamby way in front of the plate. One ball and two strikes to Page. On the mound still is Steffes. She pitched. She has pitched five innings, allowed five earned runs, struck out nine and walked one. She has 90 pitches through five. One, two to Gamby. Tap, bow, foul just outside of Coach Fairchild there. Every time, kid. Coach Tipton did one of those last year, put the uh, pole out there on a the line drive and tried to stop it and came back up after the game with two very bruised fingers. Rams up over at Lipsick. Or, yeah, Lipsick, they're playing. It was courtesy of Bridget. The one two count coming. Stays inside ball. Two count evens, two balls, two strikes. It was eight to three. Bottom of the sixth inning over at Lipsick for BR and the baseballers. Two, two pitch to Gamby, strike three called. Gamby goes down looking for out number one. Stuffus with her 10th strikeout. Go, Paige. Go, 
Paige Carpenter steps in. Paige 0 for 2. Looking for her first head on the season. She was 0 for 2 Tuesday, so Paige 0 for 4 on the season. Strike called. Strike two to Carpenter. Five nothing Rams as they bat here in the bottom of the sixth inning. No balls, two strikes to Rams first baseman senior Paige Carpenter. This one's fouled off first base side into the Trojan dugout. It was 51 degrees at first pitch. And I don't think it's 50 anymore. I'm trying to see what the temperature from the WTO weather app says. Natalie Steph is freshman righties. 0-2 pitch coming to Paige Carpenter. Change up, laced right outside of third base foul. Count remains at no balls and two strikes. One on and miss, strike three. Down goes Carpenter for out number two. Let's go, Zoe. Well, temperature reps says it's 51. Zoe Ross died, digs in. First pitch to her is fouled off for the first base dugout, out of play. Ross die, 0 for 2, grounded to the first baseman in the second, struck out in the fourth. Stuff is so one to Zoe, stays up and away, ball one, one ball, one strike, two outs. Stay tuned, we'll have the post game show. One ball, one strike. Pitch is fouled back. One and two now. Good luck, Insurance and Investment Post Game Show. When the Rams win, we'll have the Higby and Brady Player of the Game Award. One, two pitch from Steffes to Rostai outside. Count evens, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the sixth inning, five nothing Rams on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. We said, hopefully, be back here Friday, tomorrow. Archibald want to make the trip down, weather permitting, and Saturday, Patrick Henry will be in town. A little blooper over the second baseman's head. That's going to fall into right field for a little blue pit by Zoe Rostai. So Rostai on with a two-out single. And bring up Rams catcher, Tanae Smith. Got some last-second instructions from Coach Fairchild down to third. Rostai on at first, Smith at the dish, Pittman on deck for the Lady Rams. Stuff has gone the distance so far. First pitch to Smith is up and away. Ball one. Stuff has allowed five runs, six hits, struck out 11, walked one. She's over 100 pitches, 105. Strike called on that one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Ross die on at first. 1-1 one, one pitch from Steffes to Tanae Smith. That one's inside. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. If you're wondering, the teams, I guess, don't never, never, I always say never start a story with two outs, so I'm going to start a story with two outs. If you're wondering about the teams in the track, swung on this. Strike two. Central Catholic, Clay, Finley, Fremont Ross, Lima Senior, Notre Dame Academy, St. Francis, St. John's, St. Ursula, and Whitmer, and Finley are your teams in the Three Rivers Athletic Conference, which is where Finley plays. 2-2 two -two pitch to Tanae Smith, that stays high. Count goes full, three balls, two strikes. 
and two outs. Rostai will take off at first base. Rams up 5 nothing as they bat here in the bottom of the sixth. Steph has pitched to Smith. That's low. So Smith draws a walk. Rostai took off. She's at second. It'll bring up Marin Pittman. She was hit by a pitch in the second. Struck out looking in the fifth. Go, Mallard. Five nothing Rams here on the bottom of inning number six. Rams have runners at first and second. Two in the first, one in the fourth, and two in the fifth for the Lady Rams. Finley threatened last inning, had a runner at third with nobody out, and Skyly Zolman struck out the side to get out of the jam. Swung on, little tapper first base side to first baseman Langstaff scoops it up. Beats the runner to the base for out number three in the inning for the Lady Rams. Nice hit, Mallory. No runs, no hits, no Trojan errors, and the Rams leave two. After six innings of play here at Tenora High School in your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard, Lady Rams five and Finley nothing. Okalona Tavern, located in downtown Okalona, is the home of the famous Oki Tavern Wings. Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy an ice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Okalona Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Okalona Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events, broadcast on YouTube, and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. Here, top of the seventh thing is 5 nothing Lady Rams. Next door, I believe the JV beat Lincoln View 3-2. Rams baseball over at Lipsick with an 8-3 victory. And the Tracksters are, or were, next door. Taking on Antwerp. So we got Rams Athletics all over the place tonight. Back here. Zolman trying to close out the seventh inning. First pitch. Outside for a ball. Ball one. Eight, nine, and one for Finley. Laney Oliver. Digs in, tap her third base side through the wickets of Gamby. Norton fires over to first base, not in time. Oliver reaches on the air by Gamby. Second time, Paige has committed an error. So on at first base is Laney Oliver. Number nine hitter, Natalie Steffes steps in. Actually, we're gonna have a pinch hitter, I believe. Or a pinch runner. We're having a pinch runner. So Steffes will be at the plate. She is 0 for 2. Reached on an error. Her last plate appearance by Paige Gamby. So runner at first. Nobody out. Rams up 5 nothing. Top of inning number 7. Top of the lineup on deck. Riley Endicott. Pinch runner over at first base. Can't see the number. Too long a hair. <laughs> Zolman approaching 100 pitches, pitches, six innings for Skyly. She struck out nine, walked four, allowed three hits and no runs. Runner at first, nobody out. Infield in, first pitch. The ball one. Emma Sleesman is your pinch runner at first base. So Sleesman 
running for Oliver. 1-0 pitches of all two balls and no strikes to number nine hitter, Natalie Steffes. Steffes is going the distance for Finley. She drills it right field. Pittman out there snags it for out number one. F9 on the put out. So Marin snags it, puts it away. Top of the lineup for Finley, Riley Indicott steps in. Runner still at first. She doubled her last plate appearance, struck out in the first, and grounded back to Zolman in the third. She is one for three. Sleesman on the first, one out, five nothing Rams. Zolman pitch skied on the Rams infield. Gamby calls for it. Right on the line, I think it's in fair territory. Not that it matters, but it's out number two. Gamby snags it at third. Finley down to their last out. Number two hitter, Lola Spiels steps in. Spiels is 0 for 2. She walked in the third. First pitch to her is a strike. Fleesman on it first with two outs now. No balls and one strike is the count to Spiels. Zolman's 0 1 off speed. Outs a little bit outside. Count evens at one ball and one strike. Slice down the left field line, just inside the line, gets by the right fielder, Rostai, to throw into the plate, not in time. There goes the shutout for Skyly. Oliver scores for the Trojan, plating their first run on a second base with an RBI double is Speed or Spiels. Five one or six one or no, it's five one, Lady Rams. Stuffles. Eliana Stuffles, that is, steps in with two outs and a runner at second. Pitch to her is called a strike. Five one Rams here in the top of the seventh inning. Pitches fouled off. Strike two. Finley down to their last strike, trailing five to one. This one's fouled off first base side. Count stays, no balls, and two strikes. This one popped up. Zolman takes charge and snags it just in foul territory for out number three for the final out of the contest in the inning for the Finley Trojans. They get one run. They do so with one hit. No Ram errors and Finley leaves one. We we'll have the final numbers coming up. Final from Tenora. Rams improve to 2-0 with a 5-1 victory. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll have the Bidlack Insurance and Investments post-game show, and we'll do it right after this timeout here on Sonora Rams Live. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenor Rams athletes this season. Welcome back to Tenor High School. Rams cap off a 5-1 win over the Trojans of Finley. Rams... 
Five runs, six hits, and two errors. Finley, one run, four hits, and two errors as well. Rams with two runs in the first. Courtesy of a two-out opposite field double by Paige Gamby. Gamby came back in the fourth inning with a solo home run. And the Rams plated two runs in the fifth for a 5-1 win. Trojans run came in inning number seven. Zolman went the distance. She got the win. Seven innings, four hits, one run unearned for Skyly. Nine strikeouts and four walks. For the loss, freshman Natalie Steffes pitched six innings, allowed six hits, five runs, five earned runs. She struck out 11 and walked two. So a fantastic performance, actually, by Natalie Steffes. It's, like I said, just a freshman for Coach Steffes and the Finley Trojans. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Going to have the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award, and we'll see if Coach Fairchild can make his way up here. If not, we'll get an interview, and we'll just leave it for later. So Higby Embroidery Player of the Game right after this time out. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Contact them at 419-428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. Higby Embroider is a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. Back at Tenora High School, Lady Rams wrap up a 5-1 victory. Welcome to the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award. We're going to give the player a game other to Miss Paige Gamby. So Paige, the freshman third baseman, goes two for three. He said two RBIs in the first inning. Opposite field double hit the base of the wall. Missed a home run by about five feet. And then in the fourth inning, she saw the first pitch that, or first she saw the first pitch of that inning. She drove it straight away center field over the Lady Rams banner over there. So quite the performance by Lady Rams freshman third baseman Paige Gamby. So our Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award goes to Paige Gamby. Looking at the Ram stats, Logan McQuillan was one for two. She had two RBIs. Those came in the Rams two-run fifth inning. Also, we said Paige Gamby. She had two hits. Logan McQuillan with one, two RBIs. Gamby with two hits, three RBIs. Frazier with two hits. And, of course, Anna with two more steals, increases her steals on the season to six. Skyly Zolman picked up the win. She said her second win, Skyly's 2-0. and Lady Rams improved to 2-0, and with any luck, we'll be here tomorrow with Lady Rams softball versus Archibald. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. For some reason, the radio app did not connect. I'm going to have to figure out what's up with that. But I'll have the YouTube video later. Well, it'll be tomorrow morning before it uploads. It takes forever for anything to upload for some reason. Thanks to you for listening. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks to our sponsors, BSN Sports, Weber Bookkeeping, Maumee Valley Title Agency, Clubhouse Pizza NA, Fairchild Family Chiropractic Center, Optimal Performance and Fitness, Jake Rubio, Drop Zone Pizzeria, Higby Embroidery, Signs Excavating, Firestone Tavern, Oklahoma Tavern, Northwest Ohio Sports, Batten Stevens Body Shop, to our Rams Athletic Boosters, Cut and Polished Hair Nail Salon, the Wooden Indian Pawn, and Pawn Shop, uh, Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, Weir Hill Weber and Stanley Attorneys at Law, Postal Insurance and Investments, and finally, Mayfield Engineering. Start your MEC career today, $1,000 sign-on bonus. So we'll see everybody with any luck weatherwise tomorrow here. Final again, Lady Rams improved to 2-0 with a 5-1 win over Finley. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for listening to this exclusive presentation of Tenora Rams Sports. Be sure to tune in next time when we bring you more Rams action. And follow us online at TenoraRamsSportsAudio.com or on Twitter at Tenora Rams Audio.